Guys, Tech Guy Face 6, and today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the iPad Mini and the iPad Mini Retina display and the 2013 edition of the Nexus 7. So, when it comes to design, you can tell if you have had an earlier iPad Mini that it's very, it's very expensive feeling device, very good quality device. And if you ever had or held or seen the Nexus 7, you can tell by it that it is a cheaper made device but it's still very nice it is made out of plastic while the iPad mini retina display is made out of aluminum like all Apple products except a few but other than that they are both have glass displays and they both have really high this resolution displays but the iPad mini has a better resolution by just one pixel per inch so the iPad mini has a 2048 by 1536 pixel display at 324 ppi and the Nexus 7 has a 1920 by 1200 pixel display at 323 ppi so as you can see the next the iPad mini has one pixel more than the Nexus 7 but the iPad mini does have a bigger display by nine inches, so if you like a little bigger of the not um, seven inches display, then you probably want to go with the iPad Mini because it does have a bigger display by nine point nine inches. When it comes to operating systems, the next seven, of course, runs Android four point three or whatever the newest version of Android is. You get the stock, the newest version of Android whenever it comes out when buying an Nexus tablet, and of course, the iPad Mini is also going to have the newest version of it iOS when it comes out so which right now is iOS 7 so depending on whatever OS you like more you're obviously going to want to go with that tablet when it comes to processors the iPad mini retina has a A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and M7 motion co-processor co -pro while the next 7 has the 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor so when it comes to speed, they're both going to be very snappy, so you're not going to really notice the difference between the two. When it comes to gaming, they're both really going to be good also, so that's also pretty much a tie between the two, because the A7 chip works really good with having many, and the 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon chip works really good with the Nexus 7. When it comes to storage options, the Nexus 7 only has a 16 GB storage capacity model and a 32 GB, while the iPad mini goes 16 32, 64, and 120 gigabyte model. So if you want more storage on the device, you want to go want to go with the iPad Mini Retina display. They both have no external storage options. They both have 5 megapixel rear-facing cameras, and the iPad Mini Retina has a 1.2 megapixel FaceTime HD camera, while the Nexus 7 has a 2 megapixel full HD fluffing camera. So they're not much different when it comes to megapixels, but the iPad Mini it does look better because I have the Nexus 7 and I have the iPad Mini. So I'm guessing they might up they upgraded it so it lets in more pixels now. So I'm guessing it's gonna be even better than it was last year. So I'm gonna go with the iPad Mini's front facing camera and the back facing camera because they do look a lot better than the Nexus 7s, even though the Nexus 7 has a little bit more pixels, but that doesn't really matter. When it comes to networks, the, the iPad Mini has faster Wi-Fi because it does have two bands of Wi-Fi, unlike the Nexus 7. So if you want, if you live in an area in your house where you have slower Wi-Fi, you may want to go with the iPad Mini because the iPad Minis have way better, or not way better, but two times better Wi-Fi. But it doesn't really matter much at all. When it comes to Bluetooth, they both have Bluetooth 4.0. When it comes to battery, you're on both tablets. Companies are saying that you'll get about 9 to 10 hours of battery life with normal use. So, when it comes to battery, they're pretty much the same. When it comes to NFC, the Apple Main does not have NFC, of course, but the Next 7 does. So, if you really want an NFC on your device, you're going to want to go with the iPad, with the Next 7. When it comes to ports and connectivity, they both have 3.5mm headphone jacks. And, but the, the next 7 has HDMI out, so that's an added feature that the iPad Mini does not have. So if you want that, then you can also obviously go with that. 
It comes with sensors. The iPad Mini has a access gyro, accelerometer, ambient light sensor, and the next seven also has that. So the same with that. They both have GPS. When it comes to height, they are identical in height. When it comes to width, the iPad Mini is 5.3 inches, while the next seven is 4.4. 4, 9 inches. When it comes to depth, the iPad Mini is 7.5 millimeters and the next 7 is 8.65 millimeters. So the iPad Mini is thinner by just a little bit, by about a millimeter. When it comes to weight, the iPad Mini is 0.73 pounds or 331 grams, but the next 7 is 290 grams, so it's going to be weighing a little bit less than the iPad Mini. When it comes to colors, the iPad Mini comes in two, space gray and black, or silver and white, while the next one comes in one color, which is black. That's pretty much it with this comparison. As you can see, they're both pretty specced very closely together. So the main reason you choose between this tab these tablets is, I guess, the operating system. Whatever one you probably like the most. In my case, it does not really matter. I'm trying to go with the iPad Mini though, in my case. But if you like Android better, you probably gonna want to go with the next seven. If you like iOS better, you probably gonna want to go with the iPad Mini. And that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like it, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to hit that like button down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Make sure to check out all of my Apple coverage of their event last yesterday, and I'll see you later.